Seem to be very happy. Anything the matter? I was even going to your house. Ah. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me enter so that we can go. There is something serious. Uh -huh. Hey. What is it? Nzeoba uh -huh. should tell the people who killed Igbo man. Ah. Why are you saying that? The person who does not know his man is a fool. Yes. He told me of his intention to eliminate the Igwe. Huh? Yes. Huh? and to install someone else. Even said the Igwe is an illiterate and does not allow him to take over other people's land. <laughs> Do you realize the weight of this allegation? At first, I thought he was joking. He even tried to lure me into accepting the crown as the next Igwe. Huh? But of course, I refused. <sighs> this is grievous. Hey. Um, have you told anybody this? No, you are the only person who knows about it. Oh, good. Very good. Keep it to yourself. We have to take him unprepared. And you know, in three days' time, the meetings of the elders will hold. And that is the right time for you to mention it. You know, if you let it out now, we have lost. So, Leave it till that day, hmm? I've had you. Oh, come on. Uh. Hey. hey! Oh! Has he confessed? Oh. He has maintained that he's innocent. Eh? Hey. I'm innocent, though. I'm innocent. I did not kill you, woman, okay? You people want to kill me for nothing. Stop crying. The truth will come out. If you're innocent, nothing will happen to you. It is only the head that gets the way of the bee, that gets stung. But let me. But let me. You are a criminal. Did you not talk to Clement before Igor Monaco was killed? Oh. Eh? How did you know about that? How? I never told him that Igwe Mengo was going to be killed. I only spoke to him concerning the premonition I had that something terrible might happen because of an easy calm that hung over the whole of Ebetete before the disappearance of Igwe Mengo. Uh, but Lomi, are you saying you did not know that Igwe Mengo was going to die? You are a liar, Bartolomi. You people should not condemn him before his judge. I still believe he is innocent. Uzo, Uzo, why not stop this here talk about his innocence? Mm. He can't be innocent. Oh. Don't mind. A layabout can never be free from guilt. Mm. Ah. I'm innocent. Uh, I did not kill you, woman, uh, uh, I don't even have reason for it. Clement, the woman has killed me. Clement, the woman. Yeah. 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 The last few weeks have not been easy for any of us in this town. Yes. Particularly the elders who have had sleepless nights and moments. Mm -hmm. We have also heard about so many things said of our late Igwe. We thank God we have performed some important rituals. So I will let Igwe could be buried in peace. The gods and spirit of the dead have also fought for themselves. What a man sows, he reaps. Yes. Bam. I am sure it will surprise many of you to know that it was Amarakwe who killed the late Igwe. Hey. hey. Yes. Yes. He planned it with the second wife of the late Igwe, so the son of this second wife could be the next Igwe. Obidia, calm down. Calm down. Calm down. The Umwada will see to her punishment. Yes. 
The body of the late Igwe will be buried tomorrow. So the elders hereby appeal to everybody to be law abiding. The situation is under control. Lives of others must have their own wasted. Sure. Yeah. But Obidia will drink from the water of Ibudu River Twelve as hours. prescribed by the oracle. Wow. If nothing happens to her after two weeks, then she will know she is not guilty. Sure. Who's up? The good. Enter. 
Это, это, это. Куба. Куба, не мог. 